Hey there everyone, my name is Sam, and welcome back to another Top 10. Now, today's Top 10 is kind of a little weird, a little different, but I think it's a good one. We're talking about the Top 10 games you'd like to play during the holidays, whether that be something that's related to the holidays, something that you need to play because you don't like your family, you don't like your friends, you don't like anybody, you're alone, you're gonna die alone. But yeah, it should be fun. So hey, let's check it out. Number 10. Donkey Kong Country 3. So to start off the list, we don't actually have a Christmas-like game, but rather a fun little Easter egg. So first off, I don't get the hate for Donkey Kong Country 3. It has some of the best platforming in the series, and the level design is just as creative as the other two games. Anyways, if you enter the code MARY at the file select screen, all of the collectibles and the bonus levels will be Christmas themed, and there will even be a Christmas themed song while you play it. Put these in combination with the winter levels in the game, and you got a great platformer ready for the holiday season. Number 9. Civilization. Okay, so you've traveled back home to see your family. You have no work, no school, no nothing except for actually talking with your family. I mean, of course, you can go out to the store, you can go out and see a movie, but let's face it, after like four or five days with your family, you don't want to be around them anymore. And what better way to spend your time than with a game that's known for its addiction? With the addictive turn-based gameplay of Civilization, it's the game that really doesn't end until you want it to. With so many civilizations to choose from and so many different maps, you could be playing this game for literally decades. Or until the holidays are over. Number 8. Days Before Christmas. Okay, so this is like a really weird game. Days Before Christmas is your basic run-in-the-mill 90s platformer from Sunsoft, but with a lot more of the big guy himself, Santa Claus. I mean, it's not a brilliant game, but it's, um, it's a game. I mean, honestly, the only reason the game is on the list is because the entire game is based around Santa Claus saving his elves and reindeer from an evil snowman. But easily the best thing about this game is the hot chocolate power-up. After drinking a warm cup of liquid chocolate, Santa Claus pulls a 180 and turns into the nightmare horror creature known as Krampus. You toys better get my sack, Krampus is here, bitches! Number 7. Christmas Lemmings. So back in the earlier days of gaming, game developers would have some special events for their games from time to time. Nintendo actually had some great compilations like these, like the Nintendo World Championships, and even had some competitions for Donkey Kong Country and Star Fox. Hell, Nintendo even brought back their competitions at this year's E3. However, back in the games of DOS, DMA Design, or now known better as Rockstar North, wanted to bring a little cheer to gamers during the holiday season, and so they released a freeware version of Lemmings. And as you can imagine, all the puzzles are Christmas themed. And that's really about it. Music is great. The puzzles are great, but come on, we all know why we play Lemmings games. <sighs> so great. Number 6 Christmas Nights Into Dreams so much like the last entry in the list, Christmas Nights Into Dreams is pretty much a small sampling of the game, but has a bunch of Christmas stuff around it. It's just a shame that a lot of people don't really know how great the Nights games are, because they really are. And having Christmas themed stages isn't bad to boot. Now just trust me, if you've never played a Nights game, or this even looks relatively fun to you, you really should go check it out. Number 5. Shenmue. Ah yes, Shenmue. Man, I'm so stoked for the third game. But getting back on track, Shenmue was a completely different experience from what gamers had at the time. In fact, because the game is around Christmas time, I guess that's just a great excuse to play the first one. But seriously, if you haven't had the chance to experience Shenmue and how great it is, you should really give it a look. And yeah, it's a little expensive on the internet these days, but man, it is so worth it. Oh look, I even found Santa! Do you know of any place to find a job at the harbor? Uh, Rio, I don't... I think Santa is the best person to ask for a job. Number 4 Batman Returns Ah yes, 
Batman. I mean, really, who doesn't love a good Batman game? I'm pretty sure that all of the Arkham games speak for themselves. Batman Returns, as you can imagine, is based off the movie of the same name, and this happens to be one of the rare cases where a movie tie-in game actually ended up being really good. Why can't more companies be like Konami? Actually, you know what, I take that back. Because the film just happens to be around Christmas time, so does the game. And damn, this game is satisfying as hell. You know what, just, just roll the montage. So good. Number 3 Undertale So if you haven't noticed by now, this list could easily be subtitled Game Sandman Thinks You Should Really Play, and number 3 is probably where I'm gonna stop. But if there's one game that you should definitely play this year, it's Undertale. Screw Fallout 4, screw Metal Gear Solid 5, Undertale is a game you need to play. Towards the beginning of the game, one of the first areas you'll come across is a small town called Snowden. And I'm not going to say much, but this whole feeling just screams Christmas. Presents, snow, cabins, and more snow. But really, everything that you may have heard about Undertale is true. It's easily one of my favorite games to come out this year. It'll just warm your heart. You need to go play this game. Number 2 Animal Crossing. Now, going into this list, I can imagine that Animal Crossing was probably one of the first things to pop into your head. And you'd be right to think that'd be near the top of the list, but it's not number one. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is a pretty fun time in Animal Crossing. You get to go around hunting down Jingle the Christmas Reindeer, and you can even play a few tricks on him. But in the morning, after opening up all your presents in real life, don't forget to go check your mail in Animal Crossing. You might just find some pretty sweet items waiting for you. Now before I reveal number 1, let's have a quick recap. At number 10, Donkey Kong Country 3. Number 9, just one more turn. Number 8, Days Before Christmas. Number 7, yes. Number 6, Christmas Nights Into Dreams. Number 5, Shenmue. At number 4, Batman Returns. Number 3, Undertale. And at number 2, Animal Crossing. Number 1 Snatcher So let me level with you for a second. You know how Die Hard is technically a Christmas movie? Well that's kind of how I see Snatcher. It's the Die Hard of Christmas video games. Easily one of the best games of the era, Snatcher tells an excellent story about conspiracy theories, identity, and fighting against corruption and injustice in society. And all the while managing to implement all things Kojima as well. If you need an amazing story game to play, then I can't recommend Snatcher enough. I can honestly not even begin to praise the game for more than I already have. Hell, I did a review on it, go watch that. Just go play Snatcher, will you? <laughs> 